was going to ask, uh, you know, with the, you guys going up against the Ravens this week, um, you guys did a, a good job certainly last year of, you know, I don't think anybody completely shuts down Lamar Jackson, but but at least kind of containing him. What were some of the, the keys to that, do you think? And, and you know, do you, get, do you get a sense at all that, that other teams have followed that that pattern a little bit this year? Uh, not not necessarily as far as the other teams. I mean, we we line up a certain way and other people um other people kind of do 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 what they do. I mean, I think for us, I mean they're the the guy's unbelievable as far as um running the ball and throwing the ball and getting them and they got great running backs and a good offensive line. So um, you know, it's a new year and new ch- challenge i mean they're a little bit different and we're we're a little bit different also so i mean we just gotta gotta figure out what's going to try to work to help us contain the guy sure and and one other i had on on jeffrey uh, you know i know the d in in general has, has gotten a lot of snaps uh this season you know do, do you ever concern yourself with uh, with the amount of snaps that someone like jeffrey is getting or you know, with a case like his, you know, where he's a second year guy, young, full of full energy. Is that or is that less of a concern in, in that situation? No, he's he, he'll be all right. He's got young legs and, um, you know, we rest him when we when we need to rest him. And, and um, you know, that that's kind of it as far as Jeff's concerned. Thank you. Uh, Tron. Yeah, coach, how's it going? Um you look at how some of these teams are, are, are playing you with, with the quick passing game. Last week, it was like 2.3 seconds from snap to release. How do you work your guys into being able to, to defend that up front? Well, I mean, we got to gotta try to get our hands up and tip some balls, and um, which I think we've done a pretty good job of. Um, but truly, when, when the ball's getting out that quick, I mean, it's – you know, I know everybody wants the sack numbers to be up and all that. We're we're trying to win football games. So yeah. um when the ball when the balls come out come out quick, I mean we, we just gotta do the best we can to disrupt um the, the the pass, whether that's a sack, a hit, or sometimes a batted ball is just just as good as a QB sack. So does it literally come down to like working with the guys to understand, okay, I may not get home. Let me realize that and, and, and match hands. Is that, you know, what you're telling them? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, it's something that we, we spend a lot of time working on ball disruption and, and getting our hands up and, and doing those things. So, um, and, and we've seen the results of it. I think we've gotten as a defense, we've gotten our hands on a lot. A lot of tip passes, and some have led to some big um, takeaways. And and we just got to keep doing a good job. And then when people, um, when we get opportunity to hit the quarterback, we got to hit them. Thank you. Mm -hmm. If no one else has anything, I'll keep going. Uh, Yeah, go ahead, Trump. Okay, with with Larell Murchison, how is he coming along? I know he had a really good camp. Um, he's someone you guys are working into the rotation. How, how is his development coming along? Well, for for a young player, um, we knew coming in that he was going to be a guy that was going to play hard and um, and kind of fit fit right into our culture. And I think he's done a good job of 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 doing that. You know, he's where we expect him to be um, as far as when we call a defense. And as long as he plays hard and finishes. Um, then, then he'll always have a chance to play for us as long as he can continue to do those things. And then obviously with, with Vic Beasley going, your your NASCAR package is a little bit different, but when you get Clowney down there and, and maybe Roberson or, or Crawford, well, what type of advantages does that give you when, you know, you, you got Simmons and, and those guys up front being able to get to the quarterback? Yeah, I mean, it gives us um, some uh, multiplicity. I mean, as far as what we do and how we can line different guys up in um, in different spots, and ultimately, it's really about trying to get the best people out there um, on those third downs to to try to get off the field. And I think we've done a pretty pretty good job the last couple of weeks of of kind of doing that. So, 
And then one thing I, I know you've worked with with Sue in, in the past, uh, watching some of the things that the Bucks did, they they would do kind of like that psycho or amoeba blitz where he would stand up and, and be yeah. able to. You, you follow me? Um, mm-hmm. Is that something you guys have considered doing with 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 Simmons? Because it seems like he has a similar skill set. Eh, not not really. I mean, for us, it's a week to week. Week to week deal. I, I really haven't seen much of um, of the Bucks or any, but I know I know the package that you're talking about. But I, I really haven't watched much of um, much of them this year. But I mean, really, we're just trying to put the best guys and the best matchups and the best spots that we can on on defense, first, second, and third down. From your perspective, why? Like, what's effective about that amoeba or, or, or psycho blitz? Well, I mean, you 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 get a big guy off the ball. I think sometimes when you watch it closely, <laughs> he's not really doing um, a whole lot other than trying to barrel through and run somebody over. But um, you know, again, I'm not sure exactly what they're doing. Um, with their package or, or cause I really haven't watched them, um, watched them play much, um, this year, but, um, you know, that's, that's really not something we've even, uh, talked about right now. Yeah. And I, I wasn't talking about just the bucks. I know the Patriots have done it. I've seen the 49ers do it back with Greg Minuski as well. I, I just meant like just overall from your experience, uh, having seen it. Yeah, and and we've done it in the, you know some we did it a little bit in Miami. I mean, it, you get sometimes you get a big guy with space um, running at those 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 um, those centers and guards. They they sometimes freeze up because they don't know how to um, how to block them. You know, and what happens a lot of times is the quarterback doesn't know either, and they get rid of the ball quick. You know, gotcha. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Paul? Coach, you've uh, obviously gotten kind of uh, Jarrell's spot taken care of by Simmons. I'm curious how you feel you've done in kind of what was Simmons's spot last year with the guys who've taken on what was his role. Uh, I mean, I think we've done a pretty good job. The guys have played hard. They've um, played physical. Um, I mean, obviously, Jeff's a, a different um, different type of player. I mean, big, strong, physical, athletic. I mean, a lot of things he's got to get better at. But, um, you know, I, you we got one, one of them, uh, which is Jeff, and, and – we're trying to do the best we can to make the um, the skill set of the other guys work. So I think we've done done a pretty good job here um, um, with that group, especially recent recently here. Thanks. I think that one that people might be interested in, uh, Tier Tart, um, maybe talk about his skill set and, and what you've seen in his development and his time here. With Tart? Yes. Yeah, he's, um, I mean, obviously was an undrafted free agent, no, no um, off season program and, and really limited reps during training camp. Cause we didn't, you know, we're, we, uh, there wasn't much that we could do. So we're trying to get the guys ready um, that we knew exactly we're going to play um, in the games early. But I mean, the thing about Tart is he's done a good job of just, um, taking advantage of his opportunities. He took advantage of his opportunities in practice. And eventually that led to him playing um, in games the last two weeks. And I would say that um, he's more than held his own um, against the last two, two opponents that we've played, played against. So um, that's exciting to see a lot of things he's got to get better at just like all of our guys. But um you know, I'm pleased with where where he is and kind of where he's going going forward. Coach, if you could hang with us for a second, I'll see if there's some other people that need to jump over from the other one. But uh, hang on. Okay. A Coach, well, well, I got you, Kuharski yep. again. 
just Jeffrey, if you could talk me through uh, his, obviously, Flash is huge. His consistency in terms of affecting the pass um, as a rusher, as a pocket collapser, and as a, as a rusher beyond getting his hands on passes, which he's obviously really good at. Where is he on that? I think he's done a good job. I mean, uh, sometimes, especially when you're in the interior, you're not, you know, it's rare that you get guys that that are getting 10, 10 plus sacks or, or eight plus sacks um, in the interior because there's, there's ways to kind of take those guys um, out of the game with quick passes and turning the center to them and doing, doing some of those things. But I would say as far as um, what we're looking for, he's doing a good job of affecting the quarterback and forcing some uh, bad throws and quick throws and, and, and just trying to disrupt the timing. So um, he's been a productive player for us in the run game and, and in the pass game. He helping other guys too in, in the pass rush, maybe moving the quarterback towards other people. Absolutely. I mean, again, when he's in there and he gets the opportunity, he's a, a tough guy to block one-on-one. Um, -on -one. So um, really that's all you can ask a guy to do is try to win his one-on-one -on -one matchup. And they're not always going to result in, um, in sacks. So we just got to keep on plugging away, and getting better, which I think we're doing. 